What's up guys, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. All right guys, quick update from here in Poland. We have had four matches since my last video. And to be quite honest, it has been a little bit of a rocky road for Zaksa here in Poland this year. We lost the first match to Czestochowa, three sets to one. Then we lost to Aseko Rosovia, three sets to zero. Then we came back strong and won against Katowice, three sets to one. And then last night we were able to win against Radom, three sets to zero. So we are currently sitting at five and two in the Polish Plus Liga and also in fourth place. But for today's video, we're gonna be heading back to the 2023 FIBB Olympic qualifiers, this time from the group in China. Today, we're gonna to be watching a match between Canada and Poland. And I think many of us know, both of these teams ended up qualifying for the Paris 2024 Olympics at the end of this tournament. But I wanted to watch this match because one, it went to five sets and it was super exciting. And also because I know many of these players and also the coach for Canada is my coach here in Zaxa. So a lot of friends, teammates playing in this match and also my coach here is the Canadian coach. So we're gonna pick this match up by five in the fifth set, lots of fives, here we go. All right, 5-5 five, five here, Steven Marr serving. Gets the serve right in the seam, fights it off. Lefty Boanch for Poland, off the block. Janusz outside to Semen. Great block touch there. Back set to Schwartz. Off the block again, three man block. And Poland finally ends the point. That was a long rally. And as you can see, a lot of triple blocks in that rally. And that's because the teams were a little bit out of system, out of sorts, caused first by a great serve, and then a lot of covering, a lot of scrambling. But that's kind of what men's volleyball is today, is scrambling around, triple blocks, and then finally, when you're able to get a good swing, taking that swing. Unfortunately for Canada there, Poland put up a great three round block and got the stuff block. Kohanowski serving, 6-5. Louis, he's a libero from Stanford, just like me. High ball, triple block again. Great cover, Justin. Left key tip, another triple block here, and off the block. So I think this set might have got a little bit inside. First of all, this is a great cover. This set got a little bit inside. Left key wasn't quite ready for it. Poland gets out of system. Elvis doing his thing with the set and Semen high off the block. So when we're, they're out of system, these hitters, you can see they're not really hitting low into the block. What's important is that they keep it high so that they can one recycle or maybe get a high hand shot or obviously a tool shot. Kochanowski serving 7-5 out of the timeout. Take something off of it. Three meters and they put it away. So this is a great example. I would love for him to put this pass a little bit closer to the net just because it's an easier serve. But in this situation, it's okay. Three meters, you can still run the middle there. And that's exactly what Canada does. I think in general passers, if you can get an easier ball sort of like that, this is a really big situation. So I understand why he brought it off the net. But if you get an easier ball and you can put it to the net, try to get it to the net. If there's a bomb coming and you have to fight it off to the three meter line, that's what you gotta do. All right, number five, Hofer coming in. He aced me last night. So we'll see what he does here. Nice serve. Benji Bednarz fought it off. Tip, pipe, a rip off the block. Let's watch this again. So Hofer has a really strange serve. It's kind of has weird spin. You can see it tailed a lot. Elvis, Semen, high off, tips it over the three-man block. You can see there's a, another three-man block. That's actually kind of crazy how much there's been so far. Schwartz gets it up. And because there's no one really ready to hit here, he ends up setting Mar on the pipe. And Mar just rips the ball. So pretty good play by Canada for Schwartz, who was a middle before. He transitioned to opposite to get that tip and then to transition to hit that pipe is a great play by Canada. Hofer again, seven all. He was serving to 6-5 last night. Oof. Missed that out. Wish he did that last night, but I'll, although I did play an out ball and got rocked on it. Anyway, 8-7 at the switch, pulling up. Yanu serving, my setter here. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna float or is he gonna jump? Goes with the float, drops it short. Three meters off. And Lepke with the tip. That is, you guys see that? He goes to swing. How do I slow-mo? He goes to swing, sort of, but then he sees that line open and drops it short. That is almost impossible to defend unless your right hand is really on that ball and taking that block. 
Walsh serving 8-8. He used to play with my brother. Good pass. Is this game all about Semin Yuk here? That is just, look, two-man block here. But he just rips it high off the hand. You can see high off Lepke's right hand and out of bounds. He's so good at that. I played with Semin Yuk for a season and it was crazy to watch how good he was at hitting high hands. He rarely brought the ball low into the block and that's just the sign of a smart hitter. 9-8, Semin Yuk serving, probably gonna get an ace. Good pass off that tape and Mar with the rip. Let's see, so this is a great serve. Hits the tape, Lepke stays strong with his platform. Shoulders are over. He lifts up a little bit because that it hit the net and he kind of had to, but it ends up being pretty much a perfect pass where you can set anything and Mar rips the pipe. Lepke serving 9-9. He has a kind of a jump and a float. What is he gonna do here? Goes with the jump. Beautiful pass. What? And the block, first of all, nice pass there by Semin. Just keeps those shoulders over. And then here, Van Verkel is a little bit late, but he shoots his hand over the net and gets that block. You can see he was a little bit late, but he just got his hands over and got the block. So now Canada's up 10-9, Lepke serving. Ooh, that was gonna be a really good serve, but hit the tape. And then Huber. He always hits it really deep, so it's hard to tell if it's in or out, and it kind of has float or backspin on it. So I'm pretty sure that was in, but he's so quick, so tall, and hits it so deep, it's almost impossible to defend. Huber serving, 10-10, weird serve. And he does. <laughs> Norby celebration. I wish I could see how fast this was, but you can see how much kind of float and tail it has. It tails away from the area six passer and into area one, but as an area six passer, you almost have to stay with it because it starts on you and then it moves to your right. So that's a really good serve. Sometimes you just gotta try and just get it up in the air. It's basically defense. 11-10, Norby serving again. See that one didn't quite have as much tail kind of hit it a little bit deeper there and it went out. So he was definitely going for it, but he missed it out. Hogue serving, serving sub here, 11 all. Goes with the flow, oh, no! So Nick has a flow and he can also hit a really good jump serve. That time tried to go for the flow and just missed it into the net. Bowan serving, 12-11, lefty, very good server, but he just came into this game a little bit ago. Okay, he still rips it. Canada, they get a swing. <sighs> wow. So Bolanch just puts them, puts them under so much pressure with this lefty serve off the tape, which brings the ball back. It's hard to pass those. Lepke with the smart play. And then transition, Kohanovsky, he's so fast, can always find those gaps in the block. And they get the point. Okay, Bolanch serving again, 13-11. But Leon just came into the game, number nine, to block on the right side for Janusz. Let's see what happens. What? Did you see he actually touched that? That was like a dig, but it went into the net and they couldn't recover. But that was pretty insane. So Bowanch takes something off of it. Good pass. I think that's Schnitzer. Is that his name, Schnitzer? He just hits a weird, crazy angle there and gets the point. Great side out for Canada. 12-13, Schwartz serving. He can kind of serve it anywhere. Off the net, ben Benji fights it off. That was in. So he tried to go off the outside block here, you can see. He gets his feet there, turns it down to the line, but Walsh is all over it and it goes right into the court. This is a great example of kind of a high ball set that is inside, but it's okay because if it's that high, hitters can get to it. This is probably a little bit inside, but in general, you, want, you would rather air there than outside of the antenna. 13 all, Schwartz serving again. <sighs> Missed it long. Ah! All right, Benji serving. Match point, 14-13. Rips it, good fight. Mar. Oh, Benji, you got that ball. Let's see what happens. Poland has a triple block up here. Benji steps left. Pretty good move here. I think he probably could have went with two hands. 
Benji, we're gonna work on that, I don't know when, tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Mar, again, just with a smart swing, high off the block, into the corner, which people normally aren't standing there, and he gets the kill. 14 all Mar, back to serve. I feel like he's gonna rip it, and he normally serves one six, meaning to number 10 or 17, so let's see what happens here. Yep. What? And seven. That's an insane pass by Zati Zatorski. That's probably even Benji's ball, but he just takes it. And it could be either, but look at that angle. Left shoulder down, shoulders are still pointed towards the target. Great pass, three meters on that great serve, and then Semen just hitting high and wide. He basically hits it almost on the sideline, which is gnarly and just so hard to defend. Great play by Poland. Kohanovski, 15-14, match point number two. Out. Oof, he loves that line serve, and he's mad at himself for that, but just a little bit out. 15 all, Schnitzer serving. No, oh, three meters. See what I mean? Just hitters, do that. Hit high hands, hit really hard and into the hand and it's gonna go somewhere and it's gonna be effective. Because even if that gets blocked back to your side, you can cover that ball. But he just blasts it off those hands knowing that it's either gonna be an easy cover or he's gonna get a high hands kill. Elvis serving, 16-15. Float. Nice dig on the pipe. And Semenuk off the block. That was like a broken record this set. So Elvis serves. Good float, perfect pass to Mar, block touch maybe. And Zatorski, I gotta learn how to do this a little bit better. Just keep steady. You see he's constantly kind of moving his feet here. Steps one step in, super balanced, gets the dig. Janusz with a nice set. See how inside that ball is? Kind of what we just talked about. And Semenyu, triple block, high off the hands. That was a very similar spike to the one that Helped us win Champions League two years ago. High off the hands, into the corner, and Poland wins the match 17-15 in the fifth set. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did more matches to come. Also, the CEV Champions League is starting on Wednesday, so wish us luck. But as usual, get out, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.